Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Freeplay original design. It's just gonna be me recording today because we're busy getting ready to do some traveling. We're actually traveling for the channel and that's all I'm gonna say right now, but look forward to some videos hopefully to come out of our trip. Anyway, I got inspired to do this design because for us right now it's getting to the end of winter. Or at least I hope it's getting to the end of winter because I'm not really a cold weather person and I'm so ready for winter to be over. But I wanted to do one last winter inspired design before jumping into spring. I called this design the house in the mountain because as you'll see, a lot of it is built inside a mountain. We got this new template for a snow chalet during the last Christmas update, and as you can see, the template makes it look like the property is sitting on top of a mountain with a slope underneath it. So I thought I'd play with building basement rooms and make it seem like more of the house is built under and inside the mountain compared to on top of it. That's why I went with this stone exterior wall, by the way, because I feel like it looks pretty similar to the stone that's underneath that's painted in as part of the template. I debated whether to give the house a flat roof so it would look smaller, but I ended up keeping the snow chalet roof because it's exclusive to the pre-built house that comes with this template. And if you look at our design from this angle, the slope of the roof seems to echo the slope of the mountain underneath the wooden balcony here. So here's the main entrance to the house, which gets you into a little foyer or foyer, depending on where you're from. There's one of these coat hangers from the recent hair salon event and a few closet units and this cushioned bench from the custom closets event. Then you walk through here into the main part of the house. As you can see, there are a few rooms on the ground floor level but most of the house is going to be on the below ground level, and you can look over the lower floor thanks to this double height landing area, which comes with that pre-built snow chalet template. So technically everything on the lower floor is in the basement level of this house. If you want to know how to do this kind of thing with the snow chalet landing area, we've got a video tutorial where we walked through it, and we'll link to that in the video description here, so do check that out. And basements, of course, get unlocked by completing the basement quest, which comes after the balcony quest, the patio quest, and the multi-story renovations quest. If you don't have basements in your game yet, just keep playing until you hit the multi-story renovations quest, and then all the other quests should open up for you. We've got walkthrough videos for all of them on our channel if you need tips and advice. So I went for a darker color for the wood flooring up here compared to the lighter color on the wood flooring below because I wanted there to be some visual contrast. Most of the common areas of the house have these two types of wood flooring that were unlocked with the snow chalet. The bathrooms have tile flooring and the bedrooms are carpeted. In my mind, the bedrooms should have carpet to help avoid the shock of cold floors on bare feet and the bathrooms all have underfloor heating because that's such a nice luxury in a winter setting. I think the interior walls are all either wood or painted gray and these came with the snow chalet as well, except for the foyer which has the stone of the exterior wall. Anyway, for the rooms on the ground level, let's start over here with this powder room. That's just what we call a small guest bathroom with a toilet and sink. The idea is that if anyone is on the property sitting outside on the balcony or coming in from skiing or snowboarding or some other outdoor activity and they want to use the facilities, they just have to walk along here and duck into the powder room rather than having to go downstairs or go through this bedroom here. This bedroom is actually meant to be the master suite and it's the only bedroom on this floor. You'll see more of the reason why it's on this floor later in the video, but basically it's because this is the only floor that has windows since everything else is on the basement level. And I think the master suite deserves to have windows. So we've got a king size bed, which again came with the snow chalet. And since that's three blocks wide, I've got this three block dresser over here, which came with the French romance event. The windows have curtains for privacy, and those came from the Love is Blinds event. This master suite has a huge walk-in closet with some built-in units and a vanity table. And here's the master bathroom setup with a room for the double sinks here and a shower here and a private toilet here. 
I probably could have given the bathroom more space, but I wanted to keep the interesting roof line, which you can see here. If I'd extended the bathroom, the roof would have lost all this texture and shape. So let's just quickly take a look at the balcony. I didn't want to put too much landscaping or furniture outside the house because I think of it as sort of like a mountain retreat in a really cold, high altitude place. That's why the owners have built it underground because it's easier to keep everything warm underground. But for those occasional days where it's sunny and warm enough to sit outside for a little bit, there's a table and chairs and a grill and also this wooden swing. The swing comes from the Extreme Home Takeover Quest, and the table and chairs are from the French Romance Chateau template. So now let's check out the basement level. There are a couple of staircases to make it easier for Sims coming from either direction, and they lead down into this main living and dining and kitchen room. There are lots of windows up above on the ground floor level to let in as much sunlight as possible. These windows are from the Sims and the City Quest, which unlocks penthouses, the exterior doors as well. And of course, the living room is centered around this massive three-sided sofa and the double height fireplace. I've gone with the black version of the sofa to match the window frames and the fireplace and also the kitchen counter units. And I think it also just looks really nice on top of this rug, which came from the wedding ceremony and reception template from the Wedding Bells event. Over to the side here is the TV. I tried out different configurations for the TV versus the fireplace and making the sofa face one versus the other, but the balance of the room just seemed to feel better with the fireplace being centered here. And I think the sofa is big enough and the TV is big enough for The Sims to be able to watch what they want just fine like this. The TV, by the way, is three blocks wide and I believe I unlocked it during one of the movie studio career events. So over here, we've got the dining table with room for eight people to eat. I went with the natural wood color to match the sofa and went a little fancy with these French chairs. I think I unlocked those from completing weekly tasks for those mystery key boxes. And in the middle here, we've talked about this in another video before, but I like to think of this, which came from the hair salon live event, as kind of like a lazy Susan where you've got sauces and salt and pepper shakers and chopsticks in the middle there. And here is the kitchen area, using mostly snow chalet items like the counters and cabinets and the refrigerator and the double ovens. But in the middle here, we have a sort of counter island, which is actually the chocolate station from the career and hobby store. Now, through this door, we have a little exercise room. We've got an exercise bike, which is a prize for completing the senior's quest in the time limit. And this machine, which I think I picked up from the party house template from the party time event. There are some cabinets here where you can throw dirty towels, pick up clean towels, get water, cool off from the fan, that kind of thing. And through here, we have a laundry room. Most if not all of these items came from the laundry event. So now let's check out the other two bedrooms in the house, which you can get to from this small L-shaped hallway behind the stairs. In one direction is a bedroom which I'd say is for teenagers. The bunk bed and posters on the wall and this TV with this gaming setup, they all got unlocked from the teen life event. And here's one of those diagonal chairs from the hair salon event, similar to the color of the bedspread. And there's a big walk-in closet as well. The main bathroom for this floor is here, which you can get to from the L-shaped hallway. I went with the fuzzy black rug from the Snow Chalet since it just feels a little warmer for the feet compared to other rugs, and that seemed appropriate for a cold winter house, but remember that underfloor heating. <laughs> and then on this end of the hallway is another bedroom. This could be for an older family member or maybe a friend of the family. It's decorated in a pretty simple way with this bed and bedside tables from the Urban Furniture event. Again, going with wood to complement the wood in the rest of the house. 
By the way, I saw on Instagram recently that people who do house decoration and interior design are saying that mixed wood tones is the trend for 2018. I don't know what that means exactly, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Like, our house probably has some weird mixes of different kinds of wood, but we didn't do that on purpose. We just randomly ended up with different kinds of wood furniture because it was all we could afford at the time. But hey, maybe we're accidentally trendy. Anyway, that is the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour, and hopefully we're all due for some nice weather soon. Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.